everybody and welcome back to Fortress Camelot episode number three already. Yeah, today will be a very interesting episode because we can finally go into some more deep talks about medieval architecture and I was waiting for this episode to come um, and I will potentially also drop some more episodes within this week, well, potentially one more episode this week, which is basically down to the reason that uh, in the last couple of days there was um, somebody who found a steam... Um, so to say, a new Steam hint that uh, an update of Planet Coast is on, our, on its way. We all have no idea when and why and how and whatsoever. Um, but since there is a new entry in the Steam database, uh, we can yeah, guess that there will be an update. If you want to cover this more, please have a look at Schematics Team. There is a whole episode about this topic and also some, some guesses what this could be about. Um, but I don't want to make this a uh, topic here. But just to jump onto this point. Um, I want to make sure that I uh, yeah have a good progress in this park and once the update is there um, I, I you know I don't need to fill you in with some old episodes from the old build uh, and since I'm already way into this uh, area I definitely have to yeah just um, follow this all a little bit more with the videos because I have already like yeah, 10 ish episodes ready, uh, which means there are seven more to come, and I don't know when the update will be dropping. Um, but yeah, just imagine we were just at uh, episode number five, and I would have to show you five more episodes of the old build. You know, that wouldn't be too interesting for you guys. But, anyways, now let's go into the first talk before I'm going to read out some comments again from the last episode. Um, but before we do so, um, let's talk about the first thing, what you can see here. I am building the second floor of what will be in the future um, the coaster station. And as you can see, I will use this room also um, to guide the queue line through it. Um, it will be changed a little bit more in the end. Um, it won't stay as it is right now, but um, yeah, just for the for the moment, what you may notice is that this upper floor is a tiny little bit bigger than the lower floor. That means we do have some overhanging um, outside areas where the windows are and, you know, the second floor is just a tiny little bit wider than the lower floor is. And this has a name, guys. This, this kind of architectural solution uh, to a problem, which we're going to talk about later a little bit more, uh, is called jettying. And um, if you want to know more about jetting, I would highly suggest and recommend um, to have a look at the YouTube channel Shadiversity. This is basically the channel where I have all my information from, um, alongside some others, but I found he's the, the, the one to uh, listen to and to you just follow, uh, yeah, if you just want to know more about it, because I've, I found it very interesting, very helpful, and also he explains it in a very good way, so you can really understand what's going on. Um, but before we go a little bit more into why this is a thing in medieval architecture, I want to read out some comments before we do so, because in this episode you will see a lot of things happening. Um, also a little cut here, I'm very sorry, but I lost some uh, footage, so we are already done with the roof. And now we are going on with um, yeah, making the roof look a little bit nice and finished. And afterwards we are going to the next building already. So let's go into the comments so I can quickly follow my video then. Um, first thing I wanted to read out because I, I love this comment uh, because it's so good is the one from Owen Evans Music. He commented uh, in regards to the question about the coaster name. Some coaster name suggestions. The first name I can't even, or maybe I can pronounce it, I don't know. Svarati... Dauti? I don't know. Icelandic for Black Death, at least. Uh, Peste Noir, French, obviously. Um, Atra Mors, or it, it should be Atra Mors, whatever, Latin. Or 1349, which is the year the Black Death broke out in most European countries. And honestly, also following the comments that has, have been um, given to him, I do like the number. I, I mean, it, it is so, you know, it's as uh, somebody commented, this is, you know, it's specific enough, but also unspecific enough to be a cool name for a coaster. So it's it's more like the Baron thing, right? The Baron 1898, is it right? I don't know. Uh, 89? Oh, okay, I'm confusing those numbers always. Anyways, um, I, I think this is a very good suggestion. I'm not quite sure, though, if I just take the number or maybe add um, the the Icelandic name to it because I really found that really nice um, in, in terms of how it looks but we will see maybe just the number maybe some, something else but anyways um, then we have a comment I don't even know where this is um, let me just see 
Uh, oh yeah, there we go, with Fluffstar. Fluffstar commented, uh, looks pretty good. Looks like we are going to see a lot of interactions with theming and rides and the pathways. Yes, you will. Um, but I have to say, I'm not really a fan of building full houses instead of facades. Um, they are left empty, like the building next to the uh, kettle pen queue line. This building will, in the end, have a, a really good usage. And I'm gonna re reveal this already. Um, this will be a backstage building. So what I'm planning to do once this area is filled, um, I'm already going to release this as the next iteration of Camel Kingdom. Because as you have my, may have seen, I already released this um, park. Uh, in the status which it was before the medieval area. So if you want to have a look at Camel Kingdom right now, just go to the walk, uh, Steam Workshop and uh, grab your park, uh, because then you can have a look into Camel Kingdom. And yeah, after the medieval area is done, I want to release it again, but before doing so, I will make kind of a, a little short run into um, the, yeah, kind of backstage stuff we have to deal with in this park. So I definitely want to go into um, some delivery areas and I want to go into some um, only stuff related pathing uh, and stuff like that and so this building over there will serve a different uh, a certain purpose and this will be like the whole the, the kind of commando center of this medieval area because you have a, do have a very nice um, view of the entire area so you can actually see everything from over there um, and you will have a good connection to the backstage pathing. So this is basically why this is a full building and will serve a purpose in the end, which I haven't done yet because I want to do it in the in the edge area anyways. So what we have else in the comments because um, <laughs> yeah, it's the T-Rex track. I'm not going to talk again about the coaster. Sorry, this was too much in the last episode, but you guys are right. Um, let's see what we have in the next uh, next comments. There were so many good ones. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, if there's one more. Obviously, DL Fendel, as always, nice comment, but I'm not going to read that out again because I was also pointing uh, to last episode. Um, but yeah, I guess I guess this is... Oh, yeah, w one thing. Um, there was the question why I didn't go for Camelot um, with a K instead of the C. Well, basically, this just came down to... To my feeling that it works better with a C in this kind of sense, I have no idea why. Uh, there is no, you know, basic reason behind this, or just a general reason, or maybe even a deeper meaning. It's it's just I don't know. It was like feeling better and sounding better in my ears uh, to give it the English pronunciation because with K it would definitely be like Camelot, um, which yeah I don't know. It's I I just don't know. It, it yeah. There is no reason behind that, so just take it as it is. Um, but it, it's a good suggestion to make it with K as well. But no, we are going to stick with the um, C. And it will also stick as Fortress Camelot, which is yeah, going back to the comment of Mr. Deal Fendel in the last episode. Anyways, so now as we are in the second building, which will be basically the entrance building of the coaster, um, we are going to talk a little bit more about the jettying style of kind of the jettying as architectural style of the medieval. So basically there are a few reasons why people build a second or even the third um, floor wider than the first one or the, the ground level. Basically um, what you have to think of is first of all the medieval time uh, not many people were too rich, so um, what they couldn't do, or what they also couldn't do in terms of architectural style and, and knowledge and stuff, and material as well, um, they couldn't make the floor that way that it, you know, um, defense, uh, or is a good defense for temperatures and stuff, or like uh, humidity. So what essentially yeah, was, was going on, if you would um, have a floor in the lower part of your building, which is out of wood, over time it would get wet and you know um, the wood would get very old and also um, weathered and stuff so it will essentially break and yeah your whole first floor would be then um, just the perfect ground for bacteria and stuff like that so what they did is their living ground was most likely in the second or even third floor and um, to enlarge that one they just went over the borders a little bit to have a bigger space where to live 
And the lower floor, though, was also sometimes the space where you could house your animals, because in medieval time you quite often had some animals um, in your own house, which served two different purposes. So first of all, obviously for food and stuff, and, and you're selling your goods you're going to sell in your shop or whatever, or for yourself. Uh, but second is that animals um, also create heat, and uh, this was kind of the most natural heating you can ever have. Um, by having your animals like sheep or something or even chickens and stuff uh, in your lowest floor it does create a natural heating which is also good and that means that you do have to keep that lower floor basically um, as the floor is with um, you know grass or just concrete or whatsoever um, to make your animals live there. Basically that's the first reason why you have a second floor which might be um, a little bit wider but though there are some more reasons for that. So secondly um, which is also very interesting is that if you um, consider that in the medieval time you have to buy a certain piece of land where you can build your uh, building on but what you paid in the end was actually just the ground floor that means if the ground floor was ne more narrow you would pay less money which actually leads to the fact um, that you would go for the well closest and, and most narrow space available and to make your house bigger you would go to the first floor and make it wider because this was not considered as your ground floor area which you have bought um, and yeah the other thing is that in medieval times you wanted to go from one building to the other one the quickest way possible it means buildings have to be close to each other and to make them close to each other they you know they just made the land available very very low so that means you couldn't buy big big pieces of or just big areas of land uh, because that was also increased the way that people have to go from one area to the other or one building to the other so that means they wanted to keep this all narrow and so that means even if you wanted to have a bigger piece of land to build your building on you wouldn't get it because actually that would make um, all the ways from one house to the other longer, which they didn't want to. So this is also a reason for it. Another reason though is, and I wanted to keep that quite quickly now because the episode is about to end, um, is, you know, it, it's down to the castle. So it was also a kind of way of defending your castle, having those overhanging things um, called the jettying, um, yeah, got you into a better position to shoot down with your bow and arrow and stuff. Um, but on the other hand side, if somebody was too close to the building, um, this would be a big problem and this is why it gave maculations. Was it the right word? I'm not quite sure. Uh, but this is something we are going to talk about in the next episode. Uh, very interesting thing, if you want to know more about, as I said, go to Shadiversity. Very nice one and you can go and listen to it. And this is basically all I wanted to talk about, the jettying as kind of architectural style of the medieval to make buildings. Um, wider on the outer side of the building. So that should be it for this episode guys. Next time we're going to talk about more what I'm building actually here um, potentially on Wednesday. So have a good one, have a good evening, have a good day, have a good afternoon, whatever. See you then and bye bye. <music>